Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a differential equation. We have y prime equals x minus y squared plus 1 divided by 2xy. So, first of all, when you get an equation like this, the first thing you should check is if it's a separable differential equation. Separable differential equations are nice because you can kind of put everything in terms of y on one side and everything in terms of x on the other side. And then you can just integrate. Or if the equation is not separable, you could probably make it separable by using some type of transformation or an equation may be exact. And if it's not exact, you can use an integrating factor, so on and so forth. Anyways, we're going to try to keep it simple. We're given an expression for y prime, and this is not separable. x and y are kind of mixed together. But we're going to be using something hopefully straightforward to solve this problem and obviously this method does not apply to all problems but there might be some other strategies that could turn these equations into a good form anyways without further ado let's go ahead and cross multiply we get 2x y y prime equals x minus y squared plus one now obviously if y prime is isolated, that didn't help us because x and y are all mixed together. But we're going to do the following. We're going to add y squared to both sides. One of the things I want you to notice is the derivative of y squared is 2y y prime. Of course, y is a function of x. So we're going to do an implicit differentiation here, treating y as a function of x. Therefore, you have to multiply by the derivative of the inside by the chain rule. That's why you get 2yy prime. And then notice that we have that 2yy prime and we do have an x. Now where does the x come from? It's going to be coming from an x. So this could be written as follows. Let's go ahead and add y squared to both sides. We're going to add y squared plus 2xy. And then I'm going to go ahead and actually I want to separate these into two pieces but not like that. Let's go ahead and write it as follows 2y y prime just like here times x notice that this is the derivative of y squared which is good so i kind of have the following i have y squared plus the derivative of y squared multiplied by x does that mean anything well if you think about it the derivative of x is one and if you just add that as a product because one is always possible right so you kind of get f prime g plus g prime f. What does that remind you? f prime g plus g prime f. And if you said the product rule, yes, you got it. So this is the derivative of a product. So we can basically write this expression as x times y squared, but the derivative of that. Awesome. What if we have left once we added that y squared? We ended up with x plus 1. So on the right-hand side, we have x plus 1. On the right-hand side, we always have x plus 1. So the derivative of something equals x plus 1. Think about it. Whatever that thing is, it's a function of x, right? Because y is a function of x, so you can basically call this kind of like a g prime of x equals x plus 1. This is g, by the way. And then if you integrate both sides with respect to x, of course, then you're going to get the following. The integral of g prime is g with a constant, but don't worry about it because we're going to take care of that at the end on the right-hand side. So it's going to be, the what is the integral of x? x squared over 2, if you know the power rule, plus the derivative of 1 is just x, plus the constant finishes up the project. Okay, so this is g of x, and what are we going to do with this? Well, g of x is x times y squared, so we're going to replace g of x with x times y squared. Let's do it x times y squared equals x squared over 2 plus x plus c. And remember, our goal is to solve for y as a function of x. So why not divide everything by x? So we get y squared equals x over 2 plus 1 plus c over x, a constant divided by x, which is a rational function, right? Great. So we got y squared, but we want to get y. So how do you get it? by square rooting. But you got to remember, when you square root y squared, you get two solutions, plus minus y, or the absolute value is involved. So we can write this as 
plus minus the square root of x over 2 plus c over x plus 1. And that will be the general solution. Of course, c is a constant, so you can pretty much replace c with any real number. Make sense? Okay. Now, let's go ahead and check something out. Do you think this is going to give us all the solutions, or does this work? Well, there are two solutions, so we're going to have to pick something. How about the positive solution? Square root of x over 2 plus c over x plus 1. So I want to do the following. I want to differentiate this and plug it in. What is y prime? Now, with the chain rule, again, you're going to get this. So the square root of u, if you differentiate it, you should get u prime divided by 2 root u, something that you memorize if you're taking calculus. Very helpful, right? So you have to differentiate the inside. The derivative of x over 2 is 1 half. The derivative of c over x is negative c over x squared. And the derivative of uh, 1 is 0. And then what we're going to do is we're going to divide it by 2 times the same function. And that'll give us y prime. Now, the middle of the question is, is this equal to x minus y squared plus 1 divided by 2xy? Let's find out. What is y squared? This is y, so when you square it, you're going to get something like this. And of course, you have to subtract the whole thing from x. That divided by 2x multiplied by y, which is the square root of x over 2 plus c over x plus 1. Let's go ahead and simplify this a little bit and see what happens. x minus x over 2 is going to be x over 2 minus c over x minus 1 divided by 2x times x over 2 plus c over x plus 1. Now, here's what we are supposed to do. Is this going to equal the numerator, right? <laughs> okay, that's going to be a good question. And in this case, it should, because if you go ahead and do this, divide the top and the bottom by x, so it should give you the following. 1 over 2 minus c over x squared minus 1 over x divided by, the x is going to cancel out here because we're dividing by that, and 2 times x over 2 plus c over x plus 1. Now, here's the thing. That looks like my expression except for minus 1 over x. So am I missing something there? Well, I'm not sure, but looks like we did the right thing. Where we differentiate to the inside 1 half minus c over x squared. The derivative of 1 is supposed to be 0, but for some reason it did not work. I don't know why. Hopefully you're going to find out for me. Okay? And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, here's the thing. I just realized I forgot to add 1 here. That's why. There you go. So this is supposed to give you... Uh, actually, the minus 1 and the plus 1 are going to cancel out. Yes, that's right. So then we're going to end up with this, and that is actually correct. So it is equal to y prime. Therefore, our solution is correct. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.